Visible to the naked eye, only 1,500 light-years from Earth, the Great Orion Nebula has been known and revered since ancient times. A popular target of Hubble, researchers have now identified 42 new disks within it that could be the beginnings of new planetary systems like our own. This is the Hubblecast, news and images from the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope. Travelling through time and space with our host, Dr. J, a.k.a. Dr. Joe Liska. In the sword, just under the belt in the constellation of Orion the Hunter, is the majestic Orion Nebula. The Orion Nebula is one of the best-known examples of a star-forming nebula, a swirling cloud of gas and dust where stars begin their journey of life. Now, in the early 1990s, astronomers discovered so-called proplets in Orion using Hubble. A proplet is a protoplanetary disk, and it forms along with a newborn star in a spinning mixture of gas and dust. At the center, you have the star forming, and around it, bits of dust clump together to form a disk. Essentially, proplets are thought to be young planetary systems in the making. Like many ancient civilizations, the Mayan culture in parts of what is now southern Mexico and northern Central America was tied to the heavens. In fact, the constellation of Orion and the Orion Nebula play an important role in their story of creation, with three of the brightest stars in the constellation representing a hearth, and the nebula the fire that warms it. One of the first targets of astronomers after telescopes were invented in the 17th century, the Orion Nebula was also the first nebula ever photographed, over a hundred years ago by the American astronomer Henry Draper, a pioneer in astrophotography. His photograph, taken in 1880, represents a milestone in the history of astronomy. Now the beauty of the Orion Nebula is not its only draw. Astronomers are interested in it, because it is one of the nearest star-forming regions to Earth, with stars that are massive enough to heat up the surrounding gas, making it glow. This fascinating object has been a favorite target of Hubble's from very early on in the observatory's lifetime. The sharpest image ever taken of the Orion Nebula was released in 2006. This image, from Hubble's advanced camera for surveys, shows more than 3,000 stars of various sizes, some of which had never before been seen in visible light. Now, looking at the frenzied mixture of gas and swirling dust, it's pretty clear that a lot is going on inside the Orion Nebula. Within the awe-inspiring gaseous folds of Orion, researchers, using data from the Widefield Channel on Hubble's advanced camera for surveys, have identified two different types of disks. The ones that lie close to the brightest star in the cluster, Theta-1 Orionis C, and those farther away from it. The star affects the nearby disks by heating up the gas within them, causing them to shine brightly. The excited material produces many glowing cusps, which all face the bright star and are thus randomly oriented within the nebula. Other interesting features enhance the looks of these captivating objects, such as jets of matter flowing away and shock waves. The dramatic shockwaves are formed when the stellar wind from the nearby massive star meets the gas in the nebula, producing interesting shapes. They sometimes appear like boomerangs or arrows, and in the case of 181825, the shockwave makes appropriate looks like a space jellyfish. The disks that are farther away do not receive enough energetic radiation from the star to set the gas ablaze. That's why these disks can only be detected as a dark silhouette against the bright background of the nebula. The dust in the disk simply absorbs the light from the background. It is in these silhouette disks that astronomers are better able to study the properties of dust grains, which are thought to clump together and possibly form planets like our own. The bright star that illuminates some of the propylids, allowing us to see them, is both a blessing and a curse. The powerful radiation that lights them up also threatens their very existence, as the disk material, once heated up, is very likely to dissipate and dissolve, destroying their potential to become planets. Some of the bright propylids are doomed to be torn apart, but others will survive and perhaps evolve into planetary systems. 
it is relatively rare to see images of droplets in visible light. However, the resolution and sensitivity of Hubble, combined with the Orion Nebula's proximity to Earth, allow for an excellent view of these fascinating objects. Although droplets may appear to be only humble smudges, some of them are in fact the seeds of solar systems to come. This is Dr. J, signing off for the Hubblecast. Once again, nature surprised us beyond our wildest imagination. Now that you've caught up with Hubble, make sure to get the latest from the ground too. The ESOcast highlights the best of the European Southern Observatory and its powerful telescopes that observe from high in the Chilean Andes at the Southern Hemisphere's best-known sites for astronomical observations.